Good evening, everyone. What is going on with my Roblox? Uh, my name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Give me a second, and I will get this all fixed up real quick. Go to the filters, turn off that color correction. Oh my goodness, and where's my face? Ah, oh, nobody can see me. Logitech, where you at? There it is. Fade, 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 like a magician. Look at that coolness. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I have been away at PAX East. For those of you that don't follow me on Twitter or anything like that, I've been gone for the last week at PAX East. It went on from like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was amazing. And it woke me up to the rest of the world because I've been in Roblox place forever and a day. And now I've got so many materials, so much video and footage and interviews and test playthroughs and material from all of the vendors. Like that was amazing. I want to go to more, but I'm not, I'm not going without taking my family because it was lonely. It was so lonely. And it, you know what? The kids need to experience that because that was awesome. Anyhow, if you ever get a chance to go to PAX uh, East, West, South, Australia, whatever the case may be, go. All right, because it is a phenomenal. It's a phenomenon. Phen phenomenon. Do, 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 do. It's uh, just amazing. So, um, anyhow, let's get into it because I have not released a Roblox video, a Lumber Tycoon 2 video, in a while. And the last thing that we were doing is building up on this amazing door bridge, which I still have not completed. But uh, I've got the materials, I've got the, the know-how, and all I've got to do is just put, put it together. And maybe, there we go. So I'm going to start just building up, build, 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 as fast as I can, and hopefully get a little bit of progress done tonight. Um, or today, whatever the case may be. Um, you're probably watching this around noon. That's when I normally release. But I have to say, the cosplay at PAX was awesome. I will be putting together a compilation of all the pictures and all the awesomeness that I took uh, while I was there, and the city of Boston as well. By the way, um, to everyone living in Boston, please don't take offense to what I'm about to say next. Your traffic sucks! Okay? I took my car, which I will never take my car again to Boston. Um, and it's not that you guys are, like, seriously rude, but, like, I'm sitting there at the stop sign, right? The stoplight. All of a sudden, it goes green. Beep! What the... I, what? I just turned. It just turned green. Were you that much of an impatient person that you had to honk at me? Really? And that goes both ways because I got down into the tunnels around the, the 94, the 93, whatever that road was that goes in between the, the two little islands. Um, there was some tunnels down there. And honestly, that freaked me out because I'm not used to driving in tunnels. I'm used to like... Uh, and I'm not used to, you know, city traffic. I'm used to, to finding parking spots all over the place. I'm used to, like, not having to pay every five seconds for some place to park my car. Or being limited to two hours and parking in a certain spot. It's just not the way in, in um, Springfield, Missouri. So I was very not used to it. But once I got down in the tunnels... You guys were so nice. Everyone is so nice down there. You throw on a blinker to come over and like to get into a different lane. People stop. They would let you in. All right. And something that I do all the time is I wave. Like if I put a, turn on my blinker and I wait and then somebody lets me in and I get in. I'm like, hey, thank you. And I wave him. People were like, why are you waving? What? What? Is he insulting me? No, 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 no. I'm thank you. <laughs> so. It was it was a really cool experience. I would love to do it again, but I am definitely not never taking my car again. <laughs> that was oh my goodness. Ah, I fell. Anyhow, um, talking about Roblox and the viewership that you guys have and that you bring. Uh, if you are a, one of these um, one hundred and ten thousand unique viewers, one of the new viewers of my channel. Um, I play Roblox mainly, and that's because I teach people how to program and um, 
build games inside Lua. I'm thinking about expanding that because the majority of games that were written that I tried out were in Unity. They were in uh, Unreal Engine. They were in all these, these different things. Those are the two main ones. So if you are still interested, I would totally start some tutorials on how to make games in Unity and Unreal Engine. But I need your help to do so. On this video, hit that like button. Let's get this thing up to a thousand likes. All right, a thousand likes and I will start in on some Unity and some uh, Unreal Engine and teach you guys how to make some, some legit games. Not saying that Roblox games are not legit, but every person that I mentioned it to, they were just amazed and astounded that Roblox itself was not the game, that it's it's a it's a platform for creating games. And that's what this is. Lumber Tycoon 2 is not, it's a game created in Roblox. It's very specific to Roblox. I mean, the assets are all the same. Like my character, he is a character of Roblox. Now, that's not restricting. It's just the default, okay? You can create any kind of character you want inside Roblox. You could you could change these characters so it's no longer the player, it, it's something else. It's a it's a car, it's a it's a horse. I mean, I've seen all kinds of different avatars created using uh, Roblox. So I mean, look at the dragons from uh, Dragon Adventures, you know? Bird Simulator. You can choose your own bird, stuff like that. And something that we, uh, Roblox developers, take for granted, and I'm, I would say this to anybody, is we have everything provided for us. The, the game itself is ran on servers that we don't have to worry about managing or networking. We don't have to worry about uh, if if our bill for the internet service is going to be paid this month because we need to provide services to over a thousand users. It's just not how it's done. So very very different ideals um, as far as game making go. And I was very, very proud and very honored to meet everyone that created the games. Um, I do apologize to all the interviewers, all the people that I, I went and did an interview with. The sound quality is horrible because of um, how it all turned out. Uh, it, it was just way too loud at PAX. I did not realize how loud it was going to be. By the way, for those of you wondering, I'm uh, I'm just kind of building across here so I can get to the doors. <laughs> this is one way that you could walk across a uh, airwalk is by using two large floors. Skills, mas master skill set right here. This is this is uh, this is how you can tell somebody's pro versus noob. Oh, 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 can I reach? I can't reach. Uh, just barely. Come on. Oh. It's there. It's there. One step closer. One small step for Defaultio. One giant leap for Code Primate Time. Time. Uh, you know you could just leave, right? What? Me? No. I'm not leaving. I'm uh, recording a video right now. I can't leave. Please don't make me leave. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going crazy. Pay? I'm not. I'm not paying anybody here. Uh, just in case, I don't know if anybody's down there or not. But I'm just going to get off my property. <clears throat> Let me whitelist you? No, thank you. I won't be whitelisting anyone, and I don't want you to whitelist me. Please. Um, I got to meet China and her family um, from Big Games. If, if you know what Big Games are, they did a Pet Simulator 
and uh, a, couple, a couple other really big games. She's one of the admins over there. So huge shout out to her and her family. Uh, I am very pleased to have met you all. And uh, oh no, can can I say the name? Jackson. I'll just say his name. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you wanted me to say that out loud or not, but uh, I gave him friendship because he was like super excited to meet me and everything. So he now has friendship, uh, and I would I would be willing to do that if you meet me in person. Then yes, I would give you a friendship, um, especially if you like recognize me because a lot of people they don't recognize this without the headphones on or without knowing like I've got headphones. It's it's weird. It's people just don't recognize it. So <laughs> one thing I did have to deal with um, whenever I was out at PAX was loneliness. I was very alone um, because there, like, I had this camaraderie of other gamers there, but. Like I saw dads with their their kids and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, I wanted my kids there. And I saw couples walking around and like looking at all the games and stuff. And I'm like, I want my wife here. So I know I know that feeling of loneliness, and that's that's one of the reasons I, I decided to come home early. Um, plus the fact that like my kids were getting sick, they both got the flu, and no, it's not. Cor corona, corona, it's not the coronavirus or whatever. I probably shouldn't even mention that because uh, apparently, if you mention that, it's a controversial um, uh, thing to say on YouTube, which it's not. Um, it's very much in public news and in public interest. So <clears throat> I will still mention it, just. They're doing okay. Um, they are going back to school tomorrow, and I am going back to work tomorrow. Um, I do have a little bit of sad news. My uncle just passed away. Um, my dad's brother. So I will be taking off on Wednesday to go help him get ready and go to the funeral. As you know, my dad had a stroke uh, last year, and he was... Um, hospitalized for about a month to do rehabilitation and basically get on his feet and everything. Uh, we recently got him out of rehabilitation, out of the assisted living, everything. He's now living on his own. So huge shout out to my dad for uh, hanging in there and, and doing all the stuff that he needed to get out and become independent once again. Uh, now, it's not 100% independent because, I mean, I still help him out a lot with uh, doing groceries and stuff like that. But it's getting better because he's now been able to, um, what was it, he can do uh, grocery shopping online and they do delivery to his house. So he doesn't have to worry about getting out and going driving and stuff like that. Um, he won't be able to drive it again uh, just because of the extent of what the stroke did to him. And for those of you that don't know what a stroke is... Um, it's usually where a clot happens. Oh no, I fell. Okay, it's usually where uh, a clot happens somewhere inside the brain, uh, usually from buildup of either cholesterol or um, some other fatty tissue of some kind, and it blocks off flow of blood to a portion of the brain. Um, this causes what's called a stroke, and if it it's a very scary thing to happen if it starts to happen um what is it check for the face check for the arms the strength stuff like that and slurred speech and call call 911 call the ambulance um if you happen to have aspirin make sure that they take and chew up aspirin as quickly as possible get it into the system because aspirin um will help to unblock the clots the whatever's blocking and it helps to thin out the blood <clears throat> anyhow what that's what it does it essentially cuts off blood flow to a certain portion of the brain and that portion of the brain dies now because the human brain is so amazing and so awesome it will find other neural paths to rebuild so like if you lose the use of your right arm 
Um, as long as your right arm's still there and as long as you're still working at it, there will be other neural pathways that get created to bring your movement back to your arm. It's not gonna be 100%, but it will be better so you can move forward with life. Um, some strokes, they, some stroke victims, they don't come through from, from it. I mean, it's, it's very scary. It is one of the leading causes of death in the U.S. So, um, I know that's going a little bit dark, and I know that's, that's, but it's something that should be talked about. It's something that is very concerning to myself, because um, my mother, she passed away from multiple pulmonary ambulance, am, am, amb ambulance, embolisms, which is blood clotting. Um, my dad had a stroke, so... I now have it on both sides of my family, mother and father. So genetically, I would be prone to something like that, which is very scary, which just means I need to watch what I eat. Uh, I need to make sure I stay healthy and, and keep an idea and keep a, keep a, a look or keep a, keep going to the doctor, you know, just watch my health. Um, that's it. <laughs> Just doing a 15 minute episode this time and the microphone looks really hot is it is the game like all the way up testing testing one two one two wow that is that is super loud isn't it oh my gosh have i been just screaming in the microphone this entire time here we go test 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 there we go i am so sorry for for your ears if, if that was too loud Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. If this is your first episode ever of watching me and you got one of my cards from PAX, thank you for being here and thank you for, for like hanging out. If you happen to be one of those cosplayers, I am putting together um, all the pictures and I'm going to put it to some music and you are going to be on my channel. Just stick around, hang out with me. I, I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.